Happy Yard Sale Saturday. Well, it's mostly flea market Saturday, and it was all bought from one vendor, and we got three things at one yard sale and two at another. You can hear the crows calling again. I'm going to start with this table. You can see the sides are really pretty. John has a drawer in there trying to find screws to fit the hand, the original hardware, and he's having a time finding the right size screw. So I told him I'd just go on and get this haul over with because we've got a lot of work to do. You can see the leaves are falling, but I think the detail on this table is just really beautiful with all those spindles. He's going to have fun painting that. That was at a yard sale, and that was the table was only $5. Then at the Monster Flea Market from this one girl that I know, that's what main reason we went, she'd posted pictures of stuff she had. I got this coffee meal. You can see it's got some fancy design on it. That was only $12. Then in the very back here, this was a piece from the same yard sale where we got the table. I just think this is really unique with the old ceiling tile in the back and old spindles and the piece on top looks like it might have came off a, an old dresser or, you know, something old. And then they used an old piece of tin. So I probably am going to use that up back next year, but I'm not going to put it out until then since winter will be coming soon. But that was $10, and I think it is really unique. Then at the same yard sale, this wonderful primitive stool, and I told John, don't paint it. Just wipe it off and seal it. <laughs> that was only $3, and I love the colors on it. So that was at, well, guess who just showed up? My little helper. He was in a house taking a nap because we left, we got up at 5 o'clock and we left the house at 6 to get down there. And we had to stand in line for 40 minutes. John found a chair and sat down because that's too long for him to stand. So baby boy stayed in the house while we were gone. So he was ready to come out. Then at the other, the two items that came from a, another yard sale, excuse me baby boy was this little white pitcher that was only 25 cents it doesn't have any markings definitely a vintage one and then for 75 cent this little dark brown pitcher then everything else i believe came from the monster flea market i'll start up here i got this awesome vintage enamelware uh, sieve colander that was only twelve dollars and it's in pretty good shape to be an old one and then i got this vintage enamelware spoon i couldn't remember that was three dollars that's the slotted spoon that was three dollars and then I got this super old Maxwell House coffee tin. It doesn't have its lid, but that's okay. I love the graphics on the Maxwell House. That was $2. And then one of my favorite things, you may hear me say that a couple times. Excuse me, baby boy. I'm sorry, everybody. I have to keep moving my arm for the child here. I got this wonderful old English ironstone pitcher. And this is a super old one. It doesn't say microwave safe and all that. It's the old meal made in England, Johnson Brothers. But see how pretty it is? So I was thrilled to get that. And that was only $8. Then one of my really favorite finds, oh Lord, cat, <laughs> is this whisk broom with the silver handle. Look at the detail on that. Isn't that beautiful? That was $8. At an antique store, that would have been a minimum of $25. So I was thrilled with that. Then I love this old round grater. That was only $5. I don't have one like that. Then this is a unique 
piece too. It's called the Combination Dipper. Nine, let's see, Kitchen Necessary, nine in one. Republic Metalware, made in the USA. See, it has measuring marks on it. I thought that was really unique. And that was only $3. Trying to do the back row. And then I got this really good shape red handle rolling pin for $5. I had went looking for vintage Christmas. Well, it was just about non-existent. And, but I did get this wonderful piece. This is a super old piece. Look at the precious little elves on it. And it's got a little Christmas present, gingerbread. And that was only $6. The little boot is just decorated all up so cute so i was happy to get that then i'll move across here this i think is the only new thing i bought i got this little gingerbread house for a dollar then this old porcelain doll she was only two dollars and then she's sitting in that wonderful restaurant creamer the creamer was only a dollar and then I got this awesome vintage egg basket, wire egg basket. That was $4. It's the collapsible kind. Got this shoe form or shoe mold for $3. Got a set of four of these green and white enamel plates. I don't think they're old, but they'll be great for Christmas. They were only $8. And then I believe last but not least... I got this awesome bowl. It has a H on the bottom and a number. I don't know who made it, but it was $4, and I thought it was quite unique. So this is our flea market and yard sale Saturday. It's going to be another hot day. It's going to get back up to 81 we have uh, been working outside and, believe it or not, starting taking in Halloween because we don't have any children that comes trick-or-treating. And it's supposed to rain on Tuesday and Tuesday night, so we decided we would just bite the bullet and get in Halloween. So we got all the big stuff, all John's Cemetery, all the signs. All we have left is what's on the, some of the smaller things on the front porch and the little shelves out there and some on the deck, then I have to undo the summer room, pull out the antique trunk up there and load that up. But we want to do it while we have nice days and it's not raining. So love and blessings to y'all. Please enjoy your day. I hope you're going to have a beautiful day like we are. It's going to be nice today and tomorrow. And then next week, we actually have a night that's supposed to get down in the upper 20s. So that'll take care of the rest of the flowers. <laughs> So we'll see you again soon. Till the next time, baby boy said bye-bye.